What is up guys, it is Ross, and welcome back to Mario Kart Wii CTGP Revolution. So, and the uh, cutscene just decided to roll while I was loading up my intro. So yeah. So, the reason why I didn't upload this yesterday was because we had a half day at school and I just wanted to spend some time with my friends. We went to town and had a McDonald's. And then we went to Foil Arena to have a little kickabout. But enough said in my daily life. So, in this episode, we will be playing as Mario again, but he came last in the last episode, so logic, I guess. In the B Dasher again. I feel like this is getting repetitive. But anyway, I can't argue with my own logic, I suppose. So, we will be doing the Thundercloud Cup in this episode, starting with the first track. GBA Broken Pier, so without further ado, let us get started. Also, I'm just home from a piano exam, so... Yeah, I think you get where... Yeah, I think you get why I've been pretty busy lately. Also, some exams are coming up pretty soon at school, so I'm gonna try and revise for them. So, expect... Also, I've lost Minecraft, so yeah. Expect activity on my channel to be pretty low for the upcoming few months, I guess. And Toadette just got wrecked. Don't know by who exactly, but she got wrecked. Oh, ow. Oh, no, no, I'm getting wrecked. <laughs> yup. Oh, no, no, no. Why did I think I could do that? I'm an idiot. No. Good thing. Because I'm pretty sure the red stuff slows you down. But these ones shouldn't, so we're, we're good, we're good. Ooh, super duper mushroom. I'm just going to get past these ramps because they kind of lock your speed and you can't really speed up on them, so... Ah, get off the wall, please. Oh, you could you could have just did that the whole time. Oh my goodness, I am stupid. Whoop! Nope. Whoop. Oh yeah, nothing can stop me now. Oh yeah, I can do this. Hey, two that's back in first. Ah, uh, no. Hey, did you just jump over me? I'm sorry, I must say, did you just jump over me? Get back here. Get back here, I'm gonna murder you. I'm possibly your family. Ha! That's what you get for screwing around with Ross Duncan. Because shit like this will happen to you. I think we pushed it back a little more as well, so like, surely that's good. Oh, sugar, I can't see where I'm going. It's a dark stage and there's dark poopy on the screen. Now, why do I say poopy? Oh, God. Like, I jumped over the, the, the ramp and I ended up jumping over the gap. I thought I wouldn't make it, so I jumped twice. And then as soon as I made it, I jumped over the speed panel. So, goddamn. But anyways, let's just put that all behind us because we have won! Yeah! So that was GBA Broken Pier. It was a really well made track. It is pretty intense, but then I guess that was the case in Super Circuit as well. So I'm going to give it... My rating is going to be a 9 out of 10. Nah, an 8 out of 10 because like, there is room for improvement. Like They could make the turns a bit better. Like. Make the track a bit bigger so that all carts can like go over it without screwing up. So yeah, on to the next track. SNES Choco Land Island Land Island whatever. Choco Island 2. Let the battle commence. Or the race, whatever you want to call it. Ah, ah, ah. 
Whoa, good job. Well, I kind of just lost my train of thought. So, anyway, we're kind of exploiting these smooth on ramps by driving right past them. And it's really screwing the CPUs up as well, so it's giving us a pretty good lead. We have two deaths spaced out in our own now, but that's about it. Then we have Bowser, just beginning his third lap, and Daisy, Baby Peach, Birdo, King Doo, and Baby Mario and Yoshi. Well, that's a pretty good deal, I guess. And then Koopa Troopa, and then Waluigi, and then Donkey Monkey Kong. Damn. Hey, we actually did that then. So that's pretty neat, I guess. Woohoo! Oh, there's DK right there. I can rock him. Oh, I'm Waluigi and Big Man. I could nearly guess right now that that was my banana. Like, I could watch this and I could be facepalming myself. They were actually lapping people though. Monkey Kong thinks he can escape me. Oh, he's back on me. Oh, I'm Bowser. But anyways, we won that race. That was another really good remake, but there is one flaw and it's pretty major. The the jump panels, they just kill your speed. I mean, I know you can avoid them, but like... This course reappeared in Mario Kart DS. Like, uh, it was about a decade ago. Oh, uh, no, it was about a decade ago, but it still reappeared in it. The speed panels didn't... No, not the speed panels. The jumps didn't exactly mess with your speed anyway. So I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. Like, they could fix that pretty easily. But hey, that's just my opinion. You can, like, leave your opinion in the comment section below if you even care for my videos that much. But on to the third race. Rush City Run. Is this meant to be a Sonic reference? Rush City Run? I'm pretty sure it's a Sonic reference. Anyways, let's just continue. Okay, Mario, you got this. You got this with what was your own vehicle. Like, here's a bit of trivia. I wonder, well, not really trivia, but a question. I wonder why they made the B Dasher into, like, one of the fastest carts in the Mario Kart series. I mean, whenever it debuted in Mario Kart DS, it wasn't even that fast. It had, like, a mediocre speed. Like, its acceleration was really good. It was, like, 7, 8 out of 10, I think. Its speed was only, like, 5 or 6. I don't really play Mario Kart DS anymore, because... Mario Kart DS really hasn't aged very well. It's aged nearly as badly as Mario Kart 64 in my opinion. Just nobody really... Like, a lot of people play it, but... It just doesn't really age that well. There only are 12 characters... ...in the entire game. Not a bad choice of characters, mind you, but... ...still. because my dad just came in there and then I had to go and close the door and I just fell off. And I'm fifth. Sixth. Really. That's great. Come on Mario, you're in... Come on Mario, you're in the fastest medium weight vehicle that you can make that like that. <clears throat> that should put you to shame though. I mean, technically this is your car. I mean, it kind of was. In Mario Kart 3, yeah, so I don't know why I'm saying that because I've 
pretty much already established this. But still, like the point still stands. I mean, yeah. Also, it looks much like an F1 car. Uh, yeah, get off the bus. Oh, there we go. Whoa! Oh shit! Oh, come on, how did this guy? How did I get stuck there? Oh, I've been this way before, and I mean ever. That turn is really punishing for those vehicles that have like a low drift. It really is. Why do I need that drift? Hey, Daisy fell off. Ha. Yep. So let's just keep turning. I know Birdo was trying to catch up with us. But well, no. but we'll make sure to fend her off as soon as we get out of the garage. Ah no, there's more blippering shit on my screen. It's about time I did that, that actually. And yay, we won! No, there is one just like the last track, there is one big flaw. There is that turn there are most of those jumps you can't make very well if you have a, a cart with no tears drifting. Such as the B Dasher, which I'm trying to use. That can really screw you up at times, unless you are well prepared for the jump ahead. Thankfully, I can react to those jumps just in time, but for younger players, I don't think that will be the case very often. I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. I mean, it does pass. Like, I'm going to give it a pass on this one, but still, that is one to take. That is one flaw to take into account when remaking this track. Developers bear that in mind, but final score, 6 out of 10 for me. It just isn't the best track in my opinion. Okay, on to the final track, Twin Peaks. So, what's this one like? Oh, oh look at the background, the background's pretty sweet. <laughs> it's like one of those bandit movies and then all you see is toes tied to the tracks. Whoa! Is that the K64? Is that the K64? Like the train from Mario Kart 64? I'm pretty sure that was. Yeah, because like there's tracks which fur around and stuff. Oh my god, it's the K64. My life is complete. It is the K64. Get out of my way. Oh, there's Donkey Kong. Oh, come on, Donkey Kong. Is he going to catch up with me? Oh, 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 oh. oh shit. Oh, now we're in the forest area, I think. Hey, they did try with the background, but... It just looks like a canvas or something. They did try though, so I'm, I'll give them points for trying. See, the outdoor part looks a lot better. I mean, like the forest. Really more interesting stuff. I mean, yeah, the forest part is technically still outdoors, but like it just looks like. It looks like a background you built in like, I don't know, like SketchUp or something. So yeah, we are losing our lead to Donkey Kong. Is way ahead. And all we got is a green shell. And then there's King Boo sitting on our ass. Oh, no, nope, he's not. Here. Come on, look at Miss. Mario is just... I am just like Mario, though. Like, I mean, I have the... I have the worst accuracy in the world. DK is slowly but surely getting away. Quickly, I'm sure I should really say. Yeah, look at us! I mean, we're just all in this one big huddle, and then there's Donkey Kong. Blue Shot Donkey Kong, not for much longer, mate. Kiss your long lead goodbye, for we'll be all on your tail with three, mate. 
I don't think, I think Donkey Kong is one of those monkeys that don't have tears. Whee! Failed physics for the win! Sup, bro? Sorry, I just thought I might want to take my loot back. Nope. Well, at least I had one. Whee! Oh, did you see? Hey, move on. <laughs> oh, you thought you could boost away from me? Well, I didn't do shit because you didn't have speed now. So yeah, it's pretty tight. Oh, what's up here? Oh, it's like the station. I like that. But yeah, it is really tight. There is another complaint I have. Well, there is one complaint I have about this course though, so in that section you can't exactly tell where the train is coming. I mean granted you can just stay away from the train tracks, but like considering the angle that you have to jump most all the time, that is very unlikely to happen. I mean, you'll most likely run into the train tracks by accident. And then against all odds the train could come. Oh you can trip there, that's cool. On the grass, going 17 kmph. I'm pretty sure I can run faster. I'm pretty sure most people in my year can run faster than that at this stage. As I've aforementioned, the flaw in this track being that, yeah, that, you can't really tell when the train's coming, <clears throat> screwed a lot of people up in that race, I can guarantee. But yeah, aside from that, that was a really good track, and it was a very creative idea. I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it a 9 out of 10, because they did try. And that Calamari Desert reference, the K64, just, wow. So yeah guys, that was me playing the Thundercloud Cup. I'd like to thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to check out other videos on the channel if you enjoyed this. And leave a like or comment, and even subscribe as it helps us out. And until then, that's Ross, signing out. Goodbye.